order cannot be accepted as, in, in, as it indicates failures when such entry is frequent and crime is being committed on broad daylight without any fear. Sir, my people are scared of even going to their garden now after the brutal incident as the BSF cannot fully guarantee their safety. Because of fear of theft or beaten up from the Bangladeshi, many people have to deploy their own guards 24-7 to protect their produce. There is a need to reassure our people in the border that the government and BSF will protect them and ensure the, uh, the security of the border people around the border areas. The BSF needs to enhance patrolling even in the day to ensure safety and that instead of posting the BSF personnel along the National Highway 6, these forces should be sent and posted along the border to secure the border and prevent such incident. Not only in Umkeng area, sir, there are in the surrounding areas, the small villages that are also uh, areas in the, where the farmers are there. They also fear the Bangladeshi uh, to enter the village. The, the, it still prevails in all the villages around Umkeng. Recently, there was another incident in, June, uh, in January 2024 in Dona School Village. Indian farmers were threatened by Bangladeshi people inside the Indian territory for which complaint had been filed with the Deputy Commissioner of East Gentry Hills District. <coughs> so I am also to inform the House that last year also such brutal incident happened when one lady from Dona School Village was brutally killed by the national in Dona School Village within the Indian Territory. This only shows that negligent act of the BSF is preventing the Bangladeshi nationals from entering into Indian site and this has to be rectified to ensure safety of our borders. So along these areas, the BSF are doing great job in preventing smuggling, but in doing so, they fail to prevent Bangladeshi from entering our site illegally and have failed to prevent the theft and crime along the Indo-Bangla border. I'm told that the Indian farmers are often harassed whenever they visit their garden along the border, but there is no check to these intruders. So the safety of our people and their property are at stake. After this incident, it is the duty of the government and the BSF to ensure that our border is secure. As such, I call upon the government to take corrective measures and to take up this matter with the BSF and to ensure that our farmers and people are not harassed and disturbed by the BSF and that the border is secure from such crime. I'm requesting serious attention of the government on this matter and to stop this menace. With these few words, sir, I resume my seat. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Minister in charge. Reply, please. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Minister, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. At the outset, I, thank, I take this opportunity to thank the honourable member of this August House, Srimati Santa Mary Shilla, MLA of Sutna Saipung Sasi, for tabling this calling attention notice under Rule 511 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in Meghalaya Legislative Assembly. Under the caption, suspected Bangladeshi nationals murdered Indian man for Pirna. Sir, it was reported on order 6 January 24 that Sri Rahul Potam, son of late Jamin Dha, resident of Lum Soski village, while regarding his uh, beetle nut garden <coughs> at a place called Balisara, Lum Soski village, under Ilaka Narpu, along with Sri Chiang Dha, 55 years, son of late Daniel Sushya, resident of Ukiya village, East Jantel district, witnessed around 15 to 16 Bangladeshis. Nationals coming from all the side carrying sacks and ropes at around 2.30 p.m. The Dao tried their best to chase them away, but the Bangladeshi nationals started to attack them with Dao and the teeth. Sir, the ensuing Amelie Shri Rahul Bhattam fired one round from his licensed firearm in the air to scare them, but due to the mechanical defect of the firearm and as the Bangladeshi nationals were making way towards them, they both had to flee from the place. 
Sir Shri Rahul Potam managed to escape from the police and rise to his village at Longsowski, village to inform him to his family members and villagers. But unfortunately, Shri Chiang Dhar was caught by the Bangladeshi nationals and brutally attacked him with their taos and lathis, and he succumbed to his injuries. So immediately on receiving the information, the villagers rushed to look for Shri Chiang Dhar uh, at around 4 p.m. The deceased body of Shri Chiang Dhar was found with cut injuries. So the body of the deceased was sent for medical legal proceedings and after completion of all the legal procedures, the body of the deceased was handed over to the relative. So in connection with this incident, a case by Lung Shnong Police Station case number one, in bracket 1.4 under section 447-302-34, IPC has been registered. So during the course of investigation, a thorough search of the place of occurrence was conducted and during the search it was found that the miscreants had taken away one firearm registered in the name of late Chiang Dhar, bearing license number LN236833, A7, A155-20, UNI, Number 2368300292873202 issued by the District Magistrate East Chatting District. Twelve rounds of ammunition, one mobile phone belonging to Sri Rahul Potam, and one mobile phone belonging to late Chiang Ha. So subsequently, the SP East Chatty Hills District has taken up the matter with PSI authorities by letter number DSP KLT slash egg dash 472023 uh, 60 dated 10 January 2024 to take up the matter with border guard Bangladesh and the outcome of the flag meeting is awaited. Further, sir, the in order to curb illegal smuggling, illegal infiltration and to prevent killing of innocent civilians by Bangladesh nationals along the Indo-Bangladesh border area, the office of the Deputy Commissioner of West Jantia Hills Jawai issued a prohibitory order, Section 144 CRPC of 31st January 2024, prohibiting movement of people at the international border with intention to enter <coughs> into Indian territory, prohibiting illegal, undesirable activities, smuggling of cattle, contraband goods, essential goods, and other items such as betel nut, dry fish, billy cigarettes, etc., and also prohibiting movement of persons on foot or vehicles carriage in public under 5 km of the border belt from 6 to 5 p.m. 6 p.m. to 5 p.m. Sir, the state police has also adopted various measures to enhance the safety and security of the people living along the international border with Bangladesh and this includes the strategic setting up of 13 police stations namely Mahindra Ganj, Ampati, Dalu, Bakmara, Rongara, Dauki, Nusla, Shela, Mausunam, Ranikor, Lopsnong, Gasopara and Nongalam near the Indo-Bangladesh border and the setting up of 19 anti-filtration units along the international border. Sir, police officials have been consistently conducting mobile and food patrolling, long-range patrolling at a regular intervals along the Indo-Bangladesh border so as to instill confidence and a sense of safety to the residents of the border areas. Sir, the district police stationed along the Indo-Bangladesh border are also maintaining close relations with the border security forces, wherein joint patrolling and operations are being carried out regularly to curb trans-border crime and illegal infiltration. In addition to this coordination meeting with the BSF at different levels are being held from time to time to address several issues including <coughs> crime committed by Bangladeshi nationals along the Indo-Bangladesh border. Sir, recently I would also like to uh, inform the honourable members and the members of this August House that the government has also issued a notification dated 16 February 2024 where the Deputy Commissioner of the respective district as well as the, uh, the SDO civil of the respective civil subdivision will be the chairman and the name of this committee is called Coordination uh, Coordination Committee uh, and the members is the area commander of the BSF and the SP or SDPO wherever uh, wherever necessary and also with the uh, members of the of the traditional heads like the 
village headman and the sergar of those respective uh, places. Sir, the community liaison group have also been formed by the officer in charge of police station and in charge of police outposts comprising of BSF officials, police, headmen and village elders. Meetings are conducted from time to time to sort out issues of the people residing in the border areas and during such meetings, support of the border residents is also being solicited in sharing of real-time intelligence with the police, BSF on movement and activities of suspe uh, sus suspected anti-social elements. Bangladeshi nationals in their respective villages so that swift and effective measures can be taken to counter, neutralize any impending threat. <coughs> Sir, village defense party have also been constituted in the border areas under the supervision of respective SDPOs, OCs and ICs for the purpose of carrying out preventive patrolling, promoting crime reduction, <coughs> measuring and assisting the police in their official discharge of duties. Sir, before I conclude my speech, I would like to take this opportunity to inform the members of this esteemed house that even though various measures have been initiated to provide security to the people of the 